everyone, how are you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory. Episode number 54 today. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor Elgato Gaming and the HD60 Capture Card. If you guys are looking to record your gameplay just like me, 60 frames a second, 1080p, all of that good stuff, I'll leave a link down below where you can pick one up for yourselves. Also, got, they've got new branding and it looks really good. So props for that one. I really like it. Moving on into the episode then. We have got ourselves a couple of sick teams you know what they look like by now and in the previous episode we managed to somehow uh, win division three right at the end uh, we were already promoted of course but uh, we managed to clinch that championship right at the end with a 90th minute goal to get the 11,000 coin bonus now we start this episode with a two-match injury for Jordi Alba. He got that in that final game, obviously. Um, so we will switch over to the Prem team. We're going to go on a little foot champs run today, see if we can qualify for the weekend league uh, because it is a nice little tournament to play. I do enjoy it, and the lag is obviously less intensive for me um, with the dedicated servers and whatnot. But I decided, you know what, we're going to try out my IU. So um, I got him in my team of the tournament pack as you guys will know if you watched the last episode. And I figured we'll take Martial out just for a little bit. And we'll go into a game with Aguero and Ayu up front. Because he looks like he could be a good striker, right? First game of the tournament. We come up against a... I'd say at this point in the game, this is a very standard looking Serie A team. It doesn't look anything special, really. Uh, and I don't know, the game felt a little bit button delay, but... That it must be for my opponent as well if it's the same for me. Um, but you would do things like get inside the box, take the shot, and then like you'd take an extra touch. Or the shot would just be delayed by like a second. It's so frustrating. Uh, and my passes were going astray and askew all over the show. Um, but I'd say we had the majority of like the pressure on this guy. We do play it through to Aguero, uh, Aguero sorry, who does manage to stick that ball into the back of the net in the 14th minute for us to go 1-0 up. Solid, solid start to the game against Buffon there. A nice little, somehow he managed to first touch that one into the back of the net. Normally they've been taking a bloody touch for me. Perhaps I read that and, uh, and pressed the button early enough. Ericsson then plays through to Aguero who heel clicks it, tries to driven past the goalkeeper and then I accidentally press the LB button um, which does like a chip shot with Ericsson because I was trying to change player to him. Uh, he was already changed player so it registered as a chip shot. So we could have gone 2-0 up there, but obviously that didn't work out for us. Now, Aguero scoops into the box, takes that low shot, but it's just wide of the post. Um, so what you're seeing here is me having a whole bunch of attempts on goal, but not really being clinical, not able to stick it into the back of the net. Um, due to either me sticking it wide of the post, the shot being delayed and taken longer, and then straight at the goalkeeper. I don't know. It's not great. Um, but we are peppering this guy's goal. And at half time, we've had 11 shots, 10 of which have been on target. And this guy's had one shot, one on target. So, and we're only 1 0 up. That's kind of worrying. However, Aguero sticks the ball through to Ayu. Could this be his goal on a debut? No. A good save from Buffon. I've been struggling with those low drivens lately as well, actually. It, they've, they've not worked out for me at, uh, at all well. Aguero spots a run from Christian Eriksen, who does get one-on-one. -on -one, low driven across the goalkeeper, and somehow that one didn't drag wide of the post. That's what's been happening to me lately. They've either been going straight into the goalkeeper's hands when I want them to go further wide, or they've just dragged completely wide of the post. It's like I've got my angles wrong on the, on the controller or something. So I was fortunate to score that goal, and we do go 2-0 up here. Um... And it looks as though we're going to close out this first game with a win. Uh, he, he completely does my defense there, but it gets a little shot off wide of the post, though, unfortunately for him. Ericsson then plays it through to Ayu. Is this his chance for the debut goal? No, saved. And then Aguero can't get the rebound there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure at this point in time... Uh, is this where we end the game? Yeah, look, he just goes ahead and quits. So he obviously dashboards his Xbox because he didn't have a chance to pause it and quit. Um, and I thought for a moment I was going to get kicked off the servers looking at how long it loads takes to load through. Uh, but, I'm, uh, you know, luckily for us, fortunately for us, we do manage to just stay on the servers and uh, move on into the second round of the tourney. A 9.4 there for Christian Eriksen, obviously, because he got a goal and maybe an assist for the first goal. I think. I'm not too sure. Yeah, no, I think he did, didn't he? he it through to Aguero. Um, so absolute domination. But the worrying thing is that how am I not scoring the goals from when I have 14 shots, 13 on target? How am I not scoring them? Um, 
Jordi Alba is out for another game, and I kind of wanted to continue using the Prem team. So I didn't even apply a fitness. I just went into another game with that Prem squad. You know, they were all on like 94, 95 fitness. So I was hoping we could be all right. And we come up against a very strong looking uh, Bundesliga side with inform Socrates. He had Aubameyang. He also had, uh, who was it, ones to watch, Embolo, I think. And in the fourth or fifth minute, he does get through 1-0. I mean, that's, that's a nice goal. Completely cuts my defense wide open. I'm not sure what they were doing, but it wasn't good. <laughs> Aguero then plays through to Dembele, who holds the defender off, takes that low driven. That's what I'm talking about. Why does that one not go over into the corner and it just sort of goes straight in the goalie? I don't know. So frustrating. We try a triple tap across, but they don't really work this year, do they? Um, let me know, guys. Do you do triple taps or do you do like RBA? I don't know. Um... But again, we tried to sweat that one across. Didn't work out for us. Top Brack was Top Brack and Socrates were completely running the show in this game. I struggled against them. They're very, very quick centre backs. And they did a great job at defending my Aguero and IU situation. So Ericsson plays it through to Aguero, who manages to turn his defender, gets through. We know he's on his weak foot, but he takes that low driven shot. And this time it does work out for us. And we get a really nice goal there to equalize in this game just before half time as well which is obviously an important time to score it changes the it changes the game somewhat you know this guy no longer goes into that half time break with the lead he, he ends up going in um, with a draw right when he whips the ball into the box and Aubameyang basically heads it straight to my goalkeeper who plops it down to Costa and he scores before half time oh sick so when I thought we were going in uh at a draw, it looks as though we're, we're, we're not going to. We're going to go into that halftime break. 2-1 down. And as you can see, I guess we're kind of getting done. Uh, less possession, way less shots. My opponent had scored like one really nice goal. And he had quite a nice few shots. But that second goal, I really thought was just luck. You know, it just drops down to him after he gets a, uh, a random header through onto my keeper. Uh, so, you know what? I felt like 2-1 was a bit of an unfair scoreline at this point. Maybe we could bring it back. Ericsson testing a diving header there. Didn't quite work out for him. Ericsson plays it, uh, well, 1-2 between Aguero and Martial. He gets through. That's what I'm talking about, wide of the post. I used to be able to score them like 9 times out of 10. Who knows? Maybe that was just my 1 out of 10. I'm not sure. Martial tries one at the near post, but he does manage to um, just stick it wide. Literally goes wide of the post. Didn't even get saved. However, Cater gets into my box here. I try and tackle him. He hits the post. I somehow don't concede there. The guy literally, I don't understand how that didn't go in. He just smacked it wide of the post. Uh, and as you can see, we're, we're, we're struggling. If anyone looks like he's going to score at this point, it's probably my opponent. Um, and again, I, I was just not having a good time. I really felt like the game was just delayed and my opponent was just better than me as well. But we do play a nice one-two here. Get through with Martial. And this time he sticks that one into the back of the net. We do manage to equalize in this game. And I felt quite lucky for doing so at this point. I felt like, yes, we're back in the game. But kind of, do we do we deserve to be there? I don't know. Um, but we've scored two very nice goals on the break, which I, I quite like. However, literally a couple of minutes later, he gets another free kick. Whips this one into the box. Uh, I try and clear it. It goes out to the corner flag. I try and clear it again. It just hits straight into Keita, who flicks one into the box for Konoplyanka to rise like a salmon and score a header. What? What? How? I've got centre-backs in the box there and a keeper that could come out and punch. I don't know how little Konoplyanka has managed to rise above everyone and win that header. I was I was then very annoyed at that one because that was basically straight after my goal again. Like just what I did last time. However, 90th minute has just struck. We push forward with Martial all the way down to the byline. Whip it in back stick. Who's running in? Sergio Aguero with a sick volley right at the back post. If we'd have missed that... I would have been pissed <laughs> because I know it's got to take technique to be able to strike that nicely, but he's so close to goal that if he'd have missed it, it would have been harder for him to, to stick it over or wide, surely. But a really nice technique and a solid, solid strike, and it looks as though we're going to extra time because, you know, the 90th mi minute whistle is about to go. However, he plays a ball through into my box. I don't know how I don't tackle that there or there, and he somehow sticks the ball in the back of the net. I'm fuming at this point, honestly. Uh, I think I punched my elite controller. I was like ready to fully break that. 
and then I realised that my punch wasn't as hard as the controller, so all I've got is a couple of bruised knuckles stupidly now, and a, a, a working controller still, so, like, about two or three minutes after the game, I'm, I'm quite happily, I, I didn't, uh, I'm quite happy I didn't smash up a, a 100 pound controller, but yeah, I have got a couple of stupidly bruised knuckles for a couple of days, I must look like a hard nut when I go outside, but I never go outside, because I'm a YouTuber, so it's all good, uh, so yeah, we get knocked out in our little tawny run, I was hoping that one was going to go all the way, um, considering we got we got back and we got back and we got back in that game and then every single time he just managed to score a goal straight after us. It's, it's like it was meant to be. Oh well, um, so be it, you know. I'm not impressed so far with IU. Uh, he's an untradeable player, so I can't really get rid of him. I might use him in an SBC in the future if I need to to, to get rid of a special item or something. Because he has no real value to me. Um, and he, he's not done so good so far. So, uh, you know, maybe we bring Martial back. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll test him out a little bit more in another cup run in a day or two's time on this channel. So if you've enjoyed the episode, guys, please don't forget to smash a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I think we're going to start next episode off with a couple of different, um, no, maybe we'll sell one player from our other team uh, and bring in a nice informed midfielder. So if you know who you think that could be, let me know down below in the comments. Whilst you're there, smash a like. Catch you next time. Peace.